Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen um, and in today's video I am going to share with you everything that comes along in a full fifth grade curriculum kit through Abeka. So we just finished using up this curriculum and I thought I would share it with you before I did end up putting it up and away. So if you're interested in seeing everything that comes in the fifth grade curriculum kit through Rebecca, please continue watching. So the first thing I wanted to share with you was the language arts portion of the curriculum. So what I'm going to do is just uh, do it like section by se or subject by subject. So just in case you don't want to get like the full curriculum and maybe you just want a part of it. So I'm going to share the language arts with you first. So this is for um, parent led. So you get the lesson plans and in within this lesson plan, you have um, like your language lessons, your penmanship, um, reading and spelling. So these will be your lesson plans and I can show you an example of like what a typical lesson plan would look like. So it will give you preparation, the materials that you need to have. It'll give you what you need to have on the board. So these are going to be like your classwork. Um, and then you get to the procedure. So then it goes in line um, by what you should do first, second, third, um, homework. So, so that's how the lesson plans are laid out. And they're all pretty much laid out in a similar way. So you get your lesson plan book. Um, you also get your teacher key for language. Um, so basically, it's just um, a smaller version of the student workbook. They put two pages on at once on one page. So you'd get that. You would get the student workbook. So these don't come spiral bound. They actually come bound. I just ripped everything out and then spiral bound it myself. Um, my, my son's already worked through this book, so everything's written on here. But it's pretty much the exact same way as the lesson plans over there. Um, with the language, you're also going to get the student quizzes and tests and the test key. Um, you also get to this oral language exercises and your lesson plan will tell you when to do it. Usually do it during the language class portion. Uh, for reading, you get these three books, um, A, B, and C. So that's how you're gonna the order that you're gonna read it in. Um, and then you get the uh, comprehension questions. You also get a read and comprehend skill sheet, adventures in nature, um, speed and comprehension. So basically, you're timing their reading. So they would read the selection until this point, and then you'll stop the timer, and then um, it tells you how to calculate um, how many words per minute they read. Um, here's the penmanship. So this I took apart in spiral bound as well. So basically everything is in here, and they do everything on a um, separate sheet of paper. Um, so here you have the spelling book. This is the student book. Um, and in the back of the student book is uh, the poetry that they will read. And it also includes like vocabulary as well. Here's, um, here's the teacher key for that. And so pretty much the inside of their book looks like this square portion on either side. Um, and then you have like your teacher notes and stuff like that. Also, there's a disc back here that um, they'll say the poems for you. You also get... The spelling, vocabulary, and poetry tests, as well as the teacher key. And so that's kind of the test format. So they have like a, a sentence dictation. You'll have your spelling words. And in the back, um, they have some like vocabulary work back here. So next I'm going to share with you the arithmetic portion. Um, everything's pretty much laid out the same. You would have your teacher quiz, test, and speed drill key. Um, 
So that's kind of like what that looks like inside. These would be the tests. Um, same thing. This is the student workbook, but I took it apart and spiral wound it. Um, and then this is the teacher key. So the pages, it's similar to how the language portion is set out. So this is, it would be front and back right here for your student. On your page, it's just side by side. Here's the history and geography. You get your lesson plans, the student book, um, your teacher test key, and the student tests. You also get uh, student maps and activities. And here's the key for the student map and activities. Here, this is um, a uh, answer key for the comprehension questions that are in the book. So you have a, like a comprehension check and you would find the answer in this book as well as to the chapter checkups. So at the end of each chapter, you have like a chapter checkup that the student does on a separate notebook paper and you would find the answers to that in here. Um, you also get a separate quiz key and the student quizzes. So your quizzes and your tests are in separate um, books. This is science and health. So pretty much the first three quarters of the school year is going to be science. And then the last quarter is uh, health. So you get your student book. So these will be your um, answers for all the questions that are in your child's uh, science book. You also get a teacher quiz and worksheet key. So Throughout the lesson plans, they'll tell you when to use uh, the worksheets and when you need to use your quizzes. These are the worksheets for the students. You have your student tests, the teacher key. And this is what you get with health. So you get the health book as well as the answer key to any questions that might be in here. You'll get the um, teacher quiz test and worksheet key as well as the student quizzes test and worksheets. So I forgot to mention, you also get um, these concept cards for arithmetic. Um, so it's a pretty good stack. Okay, so I've been doing um, a Becca for a while. So some of these flashcards I've had, but you have these arithmetic charts and they're used in grades three through eight. So I got these originally in, in my third grade curriculum, but um, I don't, I'm not quite sure if you have to buy them separate or if they'll come with it because usually on the website when you go there it'll ask you if you want like the complete um, parent-led kit or if you need just the essential so since I already had all the charts and stuff I always just get the essential so um, these are used with their curriculum and they do come in handy they're very helpful what I did was um, I put them in like a, a binder and then just took them out I think I, they were just I was able just to tear them out, but when you would get it, it would come in a booklet like this, and then all your charts would be in here, but I tore mine out um, because I was using their program for a while. So there's the arithmetic. Um, here's the language charts for grades four through six. Again, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure you could get them in the complete kit, but I've already had these for a little bit of time. Um... You have uh, old world history and geography charts, um, and this is just for use with fifth grade. Uh, you have your science teaching charts, and that's for use for fourth or sixth grade. So what I like about Abeka is like once you buy the charts, you you have them for a wide range of like grades. So that was pretty nice. I didn't have to keep buying charts over and over again. And then lastly, you would have the health. Um, teaching charts fourth through sixth grade so and you use all of these with um, with like your um, your um, lessons lesson plan right here it will tell you which chart that you need to use and I actually did find these to come in handy so my child he would um, ask to use these charts um, regularly and they did help him to study for tests and, and things like that and quizzes so I do find the charts helpful um, when using the Becca program, so I would recommend getting them.